Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on Array Interview Question Series and this is question number 2. And this is really very interesting question like find the minimum and the maximum from an array using the minimum number of comparisons. So if your array is like this, then in normal ways what you will think? You will have a minimum variable and maximum variable. Okay, you can initialize maximum with minus 1 and minimum with very big number but you can do one trick also that you can compare these two and whichever is minimum and maximum you initialize accordingly so what you did you initialize two here and max here okay and now just after these two elements for all these n minus two elements these are n minus two elements right we have just compare these two elements and then there are n minus two elements for all these elements you will check for this is this greater than max you will initialize into max so yes it is true it is 9 so it is greater than max and you have to compare the same one whether it is less than your minimum it is not less than your minimum then you will go ahead you will do the same thing for this you will compare this for min and max both so you had two comparisons here two comparisons here you will obviously have two comparisons here here and here okay so you can see that for each and every single element forget about these two we are not considering these two we are not going into so deep into like the complexity with one and two elements no i'm talking about n here and this n can be one million okay so in one million these two comparisons are like very small so the point is for each and every number here you have two comparisons okay so i can simply say that the number of comparisons would be n into 2 how many numbers are there that many comparisons will be there i mean double the comparisons would be there so if your n is 5 you have to have comparison maybe 10 because you have 2 here okay uh, forget about these two you understood the point right you have n into 2 comparison problem and you have to minimize this what can be done to min minimize this let's see that so this is your initial state you have these two comparisons you have filled minimum and maximum out of these two so your base setup is ready now you will go from here and what you will do you can have these two pairs and compare them first and then you can go for comparison for minimum and maximum okay and then you will go for these two pairs so see now we will go in pairs so this pair comparison is like array of i is greater than array of i plus 1 if this is the case then what you have to compare yeah so if this is the case then what you have to compare you have to compare just if array of i is greater than max if it is true then initialize this array of i into max so this is one if and i'll say initialize and you have if array of i plus 1 is less than min then initialize min with this array of i so how many comparisons do we have 1 2 and 3 this is for one case this is for the case where i position is greater than i plus 1 position if this is not the case then in else we will have if array of i plus 1 is greater than max see we had array of i greater than max why because array of i was greater than array of i plus 1 if this is not true meaning this i position is actually less than your i plus 1 position then in that case you will compare array of i plus 1 with max not the array of i because array of i is less than the array of i plus 1 so that's why if this is true then you will initialize and another comparison would be array of i is less than your min then also you will initialize see so now how many comparisons we have this is one comparison if this is true then you will have these two comparison if this is false then also you have two comparisons and once you are done with these two these comparisons how many comparisons you did for these two elements only three comparisons whereas we had two comparisons for this and two comparison for this so we had total four comparisons in a basic comparison case what I already showed you before now with two we have three comparisons so we are saving one comparison here that's how you will have lesser comparisons and your job will be done let's quickly see the code for this so as usual we have this function we have find min max function will pass array and the size of the array and we have max and min element we have these few uh, 
comparisons what i told you right we have to initialize min and max by comparing these two elements so that's what we are doing here but before that when we have to loop right then we should know from where we should start i so if it is even number meaning we have even number of uh, elements in the array then in that case we will do this and if we are having odd number of elements then we'll do this what is this this is what I have already explained we'll check if array of zero position meaning first position is greater than array of one position then max would become obviously zeroth position and min will become one position if this is not the case then we'll have the reverse case minimum will be initialized with zero and max will be initialized with array of one and I will be two so from loop you will start from here that's what it is doing here if this is not the case meaning if your array is having odd number of numbers I mean odd number of elements then in that case you'll go for this you have minimum also initialized with zero maximum also initialized with zero only and you'll say i is equal to one meaning i'll start from here okay so this is just to simplify your while loop otherwise you will have uh, some extra checking and it will be very hard so this is a better way to start with and this is that while loop see we have if comparison here first we'll see array of i is greater than array of i plus one i told you right this is your first comparison so this is the comparison here assuming this is like even numbers we have these many numbers and two is min and six is max we went for uh, this case and now we are in loop with this as i and this as i plus one so array of i is greater than array of i plus one yes nine is greater than three because we have nine and three so array of i is greater than max here we'll see is this true yes it is true so we'll replace that array of i which is nine with max okay and again we'll check array of i plus one which is this guy is this minimum than this no it is not then we will not initialize okay so we did this comparison this comparison and this comparison and then see we are skipping one element i is not equal to i plus one i is equal to i plus two so then we will start hitting here and then we'll compare these two guys now in another iteration so see if you would have not gone here after comparing this one then you would have gone here right then also the number of comparisons are three only so whenever you are going inside this loop you at max compare your three elements and you skip by two so every two elements we have three comparisons before for every two elements you had four comparisons so we have one less comparison in this algorithm and this is obviously going to take lesser amount of comparisons than this one very good question right yes it is so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos